I, I, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Uh oh. What is this? Oh no. You calling a hot take again? Is this NC? Is I'm this not even gonna blow the horn. Michigan is gonna win the national championship. NC. Bradley, before I, I did want to get your take on Michigan. Where are you at with the uh, JJ McCarthy, Michigan defense, Iowa? Uh, first time in 17 years the Wolverines have gone down there and won a football game. Uh, this is what I think about Michigan. I think that J.J. McCarthy and his fourth start down in Iowa so far to date, J.J. McCarthy's 75% completion rate. Mm -hmm. i say this again. He's 75% completion rate right now. Blake, he sounds like Geno Smith. I just, <laughs> Geno's actually 70, well, he's 72. <laughs> yeah, he's killing it right now. But uh, Blake Corn. Best running back in the Big Ten right now. Maybe best running back in the country. He right, sounds like Rashad Penny. Right, yeah. right. This is in there, some mirror imaging. But probably number three in the Heisman right now. You know, if you just look at the, the output, you look at sacks. Last year, everybody, oh, Aiden Hutchinson's gone. David Ojabo. Right now, they currently have four or five more sacks than they did last year. At this point, the, the Big Ten looks horrible. Mm -hmm. The Big Ten looks horrible outside of Ohio State. I like that they can get it done anyway. They can win big games in terms of points score. They can go down to Iowa. They can win Slugfest. You saw what they did against Maryland. They just, hey, you know what, played their game, won it in the end. I think they're on a good trajectory now. I like their schedule. I like the way it shapes up for them. Everybody in the country looks beatable. You can talk about Ohio State. They look beatable. You can talk about Clemson. Definitely look beatable. Georgia, Georgia almost Alabama. lost to Alabama. Alabama. So I think Michigan is in a good space. I am buying into them. Look. Going to Kinnick is a tough place to play. You saw what happened at the end. Got a little got a little dicey at the end, right? That's just what happens when you go down to Kinnick. They got out of there with a good win. They're controlling the line of scrimmage, which is why we beat Ohio State last year. So I like what I'm seeing. Keep in mind, J.J. McCarthy did not play spring ball. So he didn't get a chance to have that rapport. He didn't get a chance to start really developing that chemistry with the wide receiver. Hardball kind of had those guys going back and forth a little bit during training camp. So, once again, you're still not fully getting uh, that chemistry. You're not fully working with Roman Wilson. You're not fully working with Ronnie Bell and Andrew Anthony. So, now, he, even though this is, what, three games, four games started? Three games, four games started? He's just now really getting the chemistry. Hence why you saw two weeks ago those overthrows to Roman Wilson. They were over-overthrows. That overthrow to Roman Wilson in the game this past week, it touched his fingertips. He's this close. I think I'm buying Michigan 1,000%. I call 12 number for the season starting. Oh, I can't, I, I, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, no. You calling a hot take again? Is this NC? Is I'm this, not even going to blow the horn. Is it NC? I'm not even going to blow the He's horn. He's calling something. NC? NC? All right. Guys. NC. Michigan is going to win the national championship. NC? I'm just calling it right now on October 4th, 2022. The Michigan Wolverines are going to win the national championship. 12-0, go to Ohio State, win, Big Ten championship, They'll finish with a three seed, two or three seed. They'll win the playoff, and they're going to win the national championship. They have everything you could possibly want tailor-made for them right now to win. They've got the head coach. They've got the quarterback. They're strong up front. They convert on third downs. They play defense. They get after the quarterback. They don't turn the ball over. Each and everything you could possibly want in a national championship team they have, they're going to win it this year. And I cannot prove that today on October 4th. And I will take my shots. I'll take my medicine. I understand what yeah. I'm doing right now and all the heat that I'm about to take from whoever. Yeah. They're going to win the national championship this year. Book it. I need to see one... Uh I, I'm, with, I'm with you. I'm with you on that possibility. Two things. Thing one, that's a damn good job by you, by the way. I Thank like, you. For the fact, it was very, it was very sexy. Thank you. Two things. One, I hope we play. I hope we're two and we play a three, which is like a USC. I don't want to play Georgia and then Alabama national championship. I don't want to play Alabama and then Georgia national championship. I want to play a USC and then go beat one of those SEC schools in the national championship. The one thing Michigan has to show me, though, there's only one thing. 
They got to get the ball down the field. Look, I know Jim. I know Jim Harbaugh. I know he played for Bo. I know if you look at Jim Harbaugh's resume, he doesn't have a thousand yard receiver. Whether it was at Stanford, whether it was with the 49ers, whether it's at Michigan thus far. But you got to have Andrew Anthony make some plays down the field. He does need to Roman show up. Roman Wilson's yep. got to do something. Because everything is good right now. Everything is right. But you're not beating Georgia. You're not beating Alabama. Not passing the ball down the field. Not giving Andrew Anthony, who's 6'3 mm-hmm. and a half, giving him a 50-50 jump ball. Not giving Darius Clemens, who had the chance to next to his parents on a plane where I shot out to you guys. Not giving him an opportunity at 6'4", 215. Got to start throwing the ball down the field. In fairness, you just said Georgia and Alabama and everybody else beatable, and they are close on that. I do agree. uh, I do agree with you on all those things. Yeah. The national championship will be played at SoFi Stadium. Oh, is it SoFi? I thought it was Glendale. No. I'm, I'm looking here. It says the college football playoff Good. So far. national Glendale. championship at Super SoFi, Bowl. Englewood. See you there. Tickets starting at $658 today. Buy it. Buy it because if Michigan does go, you just sell it. In second secondary market. 658 bucks for a I, cheap seat. I wish it was on a Saturday, not a Monday <laughs> night, but... <laughs> They yeah. moved it up, though. It's going to be at 7 o'clock. Yeah, I'll be fine. You remember? I do. They I moved do it up remember. to 7 o'clock. I'll, I'll be at SoFi twice because I'm going for the national championship game, and then I'm going for WrestleMania. Look at that. Why, why don't you take us with you? I can help then you let's out. let's go. It'll be the Rock versus Roman Reigns. I know JB's going. No, I, I meant to the Is that the, ma- to is the that football the, Is game. that the match? They've, they've, um, they've been setting it up for a little under a year.